you got the new drip from we lock their new and refined fingerprint door lock by the way if you're interested already i will of course list and link the best deals for you in the description check it out and now let's go so here we have the box let's remove the wrap as always that's better so on the top we have this on the side we have the company data same here then we have this side and we also have in this side bottom and now let's rip it out let's try this one perfect okay then we have this warning in here so important safety warning of course you don't want anyone to tamper with your lock so that's why there is this seal up here pretty genius if you ask me i love it and then right here here <laughs> so paperwork on top we also get this box with the tools also three of these passport cards and lastly of course the lock this time it's the fingerprint lock but before we get to a close look let's check out the accessories so we have two hex keys then in here we also have two little screws and we also have this tool right here we will get to that in a bit and then as i said we have the three passports that you can use for the lock we have this five years a warranty card that's the back side and we of course have the manual so here we go okay so we will check that out first two pages and now second two pages third two pages fourth two pages and the last page right here just in case let me also show you the german one there is also this and this and this all right and also this but usually this is pr fairly intuitive but we will get to that so done with the unboxing let's get to my first impressions to a close overview and then also to the mechanical setup so let me get rid of this. So it's this really nice looking brushed steel, stainless of course, waterproof, all of that good stuff. And it's super shiny and neat looking, no sharp edges. It's perfect. This is the knob for the inside and the knob with the fingerprint. Definitely top notch build quality. And now let's take a close look. For this, we will need the tools. Again, this is my second lock. Now I already know them by heart. So first of all, I will show you the inside knob. And for this, we need to unscrew this screw in here. Then this one will come off. So we have this side right here. Then of course the side with the screw with this little indention and it's like beveled. Then right here, actually like this makes more sense. We have the first notches, the first way to adjust the length for this lock. Notches and screw of course on top and this way you can easily adjust the length of, well for this side, let's take like the third notch just for fun. And this inner knob is of course permanently connected to the lock, so when you turn this knob you will always turn this part right here to unlock or lock your door. And then on the other side we have the sensor, we have the brain of this lock, so to say, and here it gets a bit more complicated. So first of all, we also have a screw right here. For this, we will need the smaller one, the smaller hex key, delicate screw. Okay, let me actually remove it. And now this will come off easily. As you can see, it will just slide off. In here is the other, well, it's the hole for the screw or the thread actually. A nice looking threaded insert. There are two guides for, for this part and as you can see in here, like the guide rails. So you can't go wrong when you slide it on. And then right here we have the QR code, we'll get to that. And this arrow is the indication for, well, how to open it up. But as you saw, it's super easy. Batteries are not included. You will need three AAA batteries. I will insert them in a second. But before I do that, let me show you the way how to adjust this side. And as you can see, there is another screw. We will need, oh my goodness, almost dropped a small screw. Gotta be careful and focused. Anyway, so with this screw, you can adjust the other side. This side won't come off. 
just remove the screw. This side won't come off. And right here you have more notches and this indicator zero up to 20 millimeters. So you can also adjust this side, of course. This is a fully adjustable lock. And as you can see, well, you need to insert the lock first, adjust it and then remove it again or just do the setup in place. I will leave it like that. And now let's insert the power source. Did you hear that? Let's go. This goes back and lastly, of course, the steel cover and this little screw right here. So this concludes the close overview and also the mechanical setup. So done with that, let's check out the specs and the features. So first of all, the applicable door thickness is 55 all the way up to 105 millimeters. Here are all the applicable places. We have the work temperature, the cycle time, so 100,000 times this will last for a very long time. The knob material is zinc alloy. We have all the ways how to unlock it. So we have the fingerprint, of course, we have the card and we have the app over Bluetooth. Battery type is triple A times three. We have the power input. Batteries are, of course, replaceable. Body color is silver and the battery life is over one year. Now let's get to the app and to the setup of the fingerprint. And now that we have power, we can check out this lock. Actually, yeah, we need to do it like this because as you can see, I have a polarizer on my camera. So that's the functionality straight out of the box. And that's how it works. It will be kept open for a few seconds and now it's locked again. Okay, it's time for the app. The publisher is Shenzhen My Hand Industrial Co Ltd and they have five apps as you can see right here. For the other one, I use the Vlog Lite. I still have it installed and there is also this, but let's actually check out the QR code. When we scan this QR code on the manual, we will end up right here. So let's click on Android and this way you can download the APK. And as you can see right here, it's the Vlog Lite app. So go ahead, download and install this app. I already have it, so let's open it up. Then create your account, log in. So as you can see, that's the other lock right here. And now let's click on plus. This will open up the QR code scanner. And now we need to scan this QR code. Easy as that. Now let's insert the ID and you can find the ID right here. And let's go. Let's edit the name, fingerprint, all right. And now we have the second lock right here. Oh no, battery on red. What's going on? No, this can't be true. Should get updated in a second, I guess. So we can switch devices by just tapping right here. And when you press and hold, you can also set it as a default device. Oh, there we go. So battery is full, of course. And now we have all the features at our disposal. For example, we can, okay, now we're connected and we just unlocked the lock. As you can see, it's unlocked and now it's locked again. So with this button down here, oh, there we go, now it's perfect. So unlocking over the app, of course, we can check out the history. By the way, if, you're, if this is not working, then tap on this button, unlock it, because then it will connect to the lock for if you're not connected for some reason and then everything else will work too. This is a little hack that I found out when I tested the first lock. So as you can see, fingerprint, fingerprint. Third time and you can add permissions. You can check the list of all the authorized people on this lock. You can also do a factory reset. Of course, you can check out the help section, big Q and A right here, and you can also check out the settings, modify the name, check out the ID, the model. We can also upgrade the firmware, that's good. And we can also transfer the authority to another account. Next up, we have this warning sign. While you have not registered an admin, you can unlock the lock with every fingerprint. So we need to add an admin first. And the way to do this is to press and hold this, well, this on and off button for around eight seconds. Okay, so we will need to wait until the screen is blank and then press and hold for eight seconds, for around eight seconds. Press five seconds, Swiss config, 
we need to get to the sysconfig blank screen and now press and hold until we end up in the sysconfig. There we go. Add admin, admin fingerprint, user fingerprint, delete fingerprint, clear all, clear all. And you can also add and, add and delete cards. Add remote controller, switch language, set the lock time, turn off Bluetooth and the sound and also reset get the version oh my goodness exit okay turn off sound press and hold probably yeah success once again press and hold to enter the sysconfig so here we go and first read second read you can add up to three okay from now on we need to Authenticate with the fingerprint, of course. Let's clear all the admin fingerprints. And now it will work with every fingerprint. Okay, let's add the admin fingerprint again. Accepting the fingerprint, let's go. First read, second read, duplicated. Okay, so it will actually recognize when this fingerprint is already in there. And let's also add a card. And for this, you will just need to swipe it. Easy as that. Press and hold to exit. Okay, now check this out. We have this card, unknown card. And we have this card. This is the actual card that I scanned. And it's unlocked. That's how that works. And now also just to check fingerprint of this finger, fingerprint not recognized. But this one will work. Let's go. Yeah, so these are the working principles of this lock. Yeah, so as you saw, everything is actually easy and super intuitive, easy and fast setup. If you have questions, most of them will for sure be answered in the help section and now all that's left is to actually insert this lock into a door and then give it a last test and just enjoy it yeah and as i said lastly let's get to a short demo with well with an actual door let's go so here we have the test door this is what a regular lock looks like with the screw that will go in here of course as you can see they look very similar although the v lock one is a bit smaller so we will have to adjust this knob probably just a bit but first of all we of course need to remove this knob all the way so this one will have to come out so this needs to be aligned just like that now we can insert it from the front Wiggle it a bit and there we go. Then we will need this screw. Insert the screw. Wiggle it around just a bit until the screw will snap in place. And then to fix the lock in place, there we go. Now it is locked. So this side is perfect. That's the clearance. Now let's do the inner side. Here is the knob, here is the screw. And the holes or the notches are on the down low. So screw needs to face down as well and just like on the other side i don't want this to rub against the door just a bit of clearance is perfect not too much yeah just a bit now this side is done too that's the clearance it's pretty much perfect and of course this side is always active you can lock and unlock the door and this side is of course disconnected so press it once then it's ready for the print and now it can lock and unlock the door. That's how simple it is. And there we go. It's super simple and I love door locks like these. These are so convenient, so easy to use and so handy. I hate keys. This is perfect. Once again, super fast and it just works. So it's now locked. And of course you can also use the key card. Oh, that was the wrong one. It's actually this one. And there we go. Simple as that. Perfect. 
So this concludes my review. As I said, the build quality is stunning. Every surface is literally perfect. The setup is simple and easy. It's still super well adjustable. You can adjust this a lot. It is intuitive. The setup was easy. There is an app and there are also many functionalities. So yeah, for this price, you can't go wrong. All of that while still being budget friendly, amazing. The mechanics are solid. It works really fast and all in all is super versatile. So yeah, I can highly recommend it. I also love this little box that you get for the tools. This is so cool thought through. I love it. Check out the links in the description if you're interested. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.